Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 18 says like this. Of the rock who begot you, you are unmindful and have forgotten the God who fathered you. I read it again. Of the rock who begot you, you are unmindful and have forgotten the God who fathered you. People of God, they forgot God. My friend, it is very important that our mind, our thought, our desires, everything should be always directed towards God. And that will be the blessed life and a beautiful life. When we forget God in our life, everything is gone in our life. We need to be sure and we need to be clear in our life that our life is always directed towards Him. Only then we can shine light in us. He is the real light. He is the true light. And we need to shine that light. And if we need to shine that light, we should be focused and we should be directed towards Him. And once again, I would like to read this verse again. Just concentrate on this verse. Deuteronomy 32 verse 18, the last part says, they have forgotten the God who fathered you. They forgot the God who fathered them. In Psalm chapter 106 verse 22, it says like this. Or Psalm chapter 106 verse 21, it says like this. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt. They forgot God, their Savior. They forgot their Savior, their Redeemer. My friend, today, we need to be very careful in our life. We should never, never, never go to this stage in our life forgetting God in our life. Wherever we are placed, wherever we are, we need to know and we need to be sure that our mind, our thought is always about our God. Because He is the Lord who designs our life beautiful. He is uh, the Lord who makes our path straight. He is the Lord who works beautiful things in our life. And he, we need to be very careful that our mind, we are mindful of Him. And when, when did this people of God forgot God in their life? There are three important things that I would like to show you this morning. Number one, Judges chapter 3 verse 7 says like this. Judges chapter 3 verse 7 says like this. So the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. They forgot the Lord their God and served the Baals and Ashtrets. They forgot their Lord their God because they did evil evil in the sight of the Lord the mind was consumed with evil thoughts their lifestyle became an evil lifestyle they forgot God and they started doing evil things in their life my friend we need to be very careful what our mind is occupied with we need to be very careful what we think what we speak what we hear what we listen how we walk and what we do in our life. When we do the right, God will be glorified. Joseph, he was in Egypt. He was brought out of his family. And now he is alone in Egypt. Staying in Egypt, he always remembered one truth. And that is, my God is watching over me. I cannot do evil. I cannot do sinful things because I have a God who is watching over me. He is seeing me day and night. This thought did not leave Joseph. Today, let us always understand that a God is watching over us. A God is seeing us. Let us not be disturbed with the worldly things and let us not fall for evil things of this world. What we speak, let it be holy. What we see, what we hear and what we listen to, everything, let it be holy. 
It does not give space for sinful things of this world. When our mind is occupied with sinful things, we speak sinful things. Our thoughts become sinful and evil things. And there is no space for thinking about our God. And we will forget Him. And we will go far away from Him. Today let us make it a decision that, Lord, I will always see to that my mind is full of you Lord my heart is full of you my life is full of you you in my life number two why did they forget God Hosea chapter 13 verse 6 it says like this Hosea 13 6 when they had pasture they were filled they were filled and their heart was exalted therefore they forgot when their heart was exalted because of their satisfaction they were completely satisfied and so their heart was exalted or they 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 had they had that pride within them and because of that pride they forgot god today we need to thank god for some things that we don't have in our life because those things realizes those things helps us realize that we need the favor of God in our life and those things helps us to humble ourselves when we have everything in our life when we are fully satisfied that is why Jesus said it is very difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God because he is satisfied he has everything so humbling himself and coming into the kingdom of God is going to be difficult today let us see to that we humble ourselves before God that we will not forget God when we have that pride within us when we are filled and when our heart is exalted we forget God Nebuchadnezzar did that he was filled with everything he said I build this Babylon he had that pride within him that pride made him forget God God had to struck him God struck him he was struck by God and he fell like a beast and he had forgotten God for seven long years finally when he realized that there is a God and when he lifted his eyes up to the heavens God's favor came upon his life and grace came upon his life he came back to senses and God returned that kingdom back to him Today, let us make a decision that Lord, I will not have this pride in me. A prideful heart will make us forget God. An evil heart will make us forget God. A prideful heart will make us forget God. Number three, Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 12, it says like this, In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take usury and increase. You have made profit from your neighbors by exhaustion and have forgotten me, says the Lord God. Because of a lot of desire for money and for this world, they have forgotten God. They have taken a lot of profit desires for the worldly things or desires for the materials of this world they forgot God today let us say like my heart's desire is you alone oh God and nothing else when we can take away that evil from our heart when we can take away that pride from our heart when we can take away that desires of the world from our heart I tell you we remember God every day every minute let us remember him. Let us not forget him. Because he is the Lord who designs our life and who leads us in perfect pastures. Let us submit ourselves to him. We need his favor because Jesus said, you cannot do anything without me. We need him always in our life, even in this world, in the coming world. So let us submit ourselves to him. And let us 
name be glorified and let his will be done in all of our lives shall we pray gracious loving heavenly father praise and we thank you for this wonderful morning thank you for this word of god lord help us lord that we will never forget you in our life we will not go away from you we will not forget you and we will not be far from you but we will stay closer to you oh father we thank you for your word of god help us to always 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 be close to you and always have you and be filled with you oh god bless each and every one who are watching this may your name be glorified in their life bless them abundantly we give you glory in jesus wonderful name we pray amen amen praise the lord god bless you have a wonderful day thank you